Hello and welcome, you guys. Let's see. Flashlights on. Cameras going. I, I've had to start this video 10 times. A lot of you may be experiencing um, electronic glitches. We're not in any kind of a uh, mercury retrograde, but we are receiving a lot of solar flares. And I always get an itchy nose, don't I? We are receiving a lot of solar flares, uh, a lot of energy fluctuations, the Schumann scale, which is um, a way that they measure the uh, energy that bombards us from the from the sun. Okay. All right. We are doing readings for air, earth, fire, and water. We're starting out with the air signs first. I do have the paranormal flashlight set up back there. Spirit, can you give me a wink or blink? Let me know if I have it adjusted correctly. I saw a little bit of a fluctuation there. Let me see if I can... Okay, I just have to have it just the right spot for them. All right. It... I don't want to have it in your eyes either, you guys. Okay, there we go. We are looking at air signs. While I'm laying the cards out, I want to remind you about the Been, been There app. Been there, done that kind of thing. It is, it's a free, download it while it's still free. Uh, you can find it over at Google. You can find it at Apple Play. It is a life coaching app that will fill in when you can't contact one of your friends and you can't see me. Get that, download that uh, Been There app. All right, air signs. Let's see what's going on for you. I see a lot of things coming to fruition for air. Uh, you guys had been a little out of balance. You had been um, feeling a little out of your element, really. We have we have the magician card. You you pulled your uh, <laughs> you pulled your shit together. You learned how to master some of. some self-help things that are really beginning to pay off. You, you gained that confidence. You gained that um, inspiration. And you may even be looking for a little bit of love. Air signs. Now, <laughs> very rarely does this ever happen, but we've got the king and the queen of cups that came up. I only pulled four cards for air signs. And here you have, ta-da. That's a match set. You're going to find somebody sometime here in the month of November that is going to match with you. An absolute click and we're going to match. It's hard to come by. Don't find it very often. But air signs, you are going to find it. Uh, it may not necessarily be a love. This could be a business partner that you line up with. This could be uh, finding a new, uh, going on to a new bowling team and then things line up for you. Everybody's, everybody matches. Everybody carries good energy. Wherever this uh, air sign, whatever this takes you to, you're going to find somebody or a tribe that you literally can click and link with. And last but not least for air signs, we'll look, we have the four of wands. That's that 11-11 card. That's telling me how hard you work because things are going to begin to uh, show up that you can actually celebrate about. It's also a time that I feel air signs. You guys are having a bountiful harvest too. Whether you're uh, somebody that does uh, home canning and needs to put some food away, whether you're a prepper and you're putting some stockpiling dry milk or canned beans. Um, things are coming into fruition for those air signs. All right, wow, there you have it, air. Moving on to earth. Let's see what's going on for earth signs. One more, please. Spirit, thank you. Spirit on the light back there. Can I get a jumper? Thank you. 
All right, let's see what's going on for those uh, earth signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ouch. Ouch. All right. No, wait, that went that way. This one. All right, I'm playing them the way I see them. We had the five of wands that came up for um, earth signs. Or excuse me, five of swords. Wow. I, I mentioned earlier as I tried to start this video ten times, we are experiencing a lot of uh, electronic glitches. <clears throat> And it is not even Mercury retrograde right now. It is, uh, we're being bombarded by solar flares. We just went through, yes, <laughs> saw the, the, the light flack, flicker here. Um, <clears throat> we went through a lot of solar flares. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. And I, I do have a uh, somebody present with me because they flickered the camera too for me. Wow, that was 555 five, five exactly there. Um and those solar flares do affect us electronically down here. So that five of swords, it, it came up in reverse. That is about you already going through the change. And <laughs> some of you may be going through the change of life through menopause. But that means that you've already made changes in your own personal thinking, your own well-being. You may be taking on um, a uh, diet and exercise regimen right now. Um, I, I suggest everybody to look into intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting. If you're an earth sign. Um, we also have the da, 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 ten of swords that came up and it's in reverse. I feel like this situation is behind you. There was a deep heartache, a deep disappointment. Some deep distrust. And you've really worked through it. Uh, earth signs. You really put your best foot forward here. We have the hangman. Now, oftentimes I pick this up as a legal kind of a card. Uh, be careful, you know, get a DUI, uh, don't get a DUI, get a designated driver. But that hangman is about finally able to look at things from somebody else's perspective before you open your mouth. Shut your damn mouth. Take it in. Listen. listen. We don't have to just wait for our moment to interject Listen, it's about seeing things from somebody else's point of view. Because I'm going to tell you, the day you die, when you stand in judgment, now, you stand in judgment for yourself, but you will look at every heartache and pain you gave everybody else. You will feel it from their perspective. So please now see it from their perspective. Learn to feel what they're, what they're feeling. And we also have the two of wands for air signs. This is about you looking forward to the future. Things are finally coming together. Earth signs. Um, you may be wanting to do some traveling. I suggest short distance traveling. I don't suggest doing much traveling to big cities. I do feel like uh, we are very vulnerable right now in our country. I keep mentioning uh, November the 9th, which would be 11-9. Um, some of those warring factions may play up to those no numbers again, and um, I expect something to happen that day. Let's all pray for that, okay? World peace. World peace. World peace. I don't care what side you're on. World peace. All right. Moving on to fire signs. Let's see what's going on for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. <clears throat> yeah, I hope everybody made it through the uh, eclipses. It wasn't that bad. Really, I didn't think it was. Uh, some, some people were predicting a lot of... Tough energy and a lot of uh, disappointment. A lot of, well, we did have a lot of unrest in the world. All right, one more. There we go. Alrighty, alrighty. Upside down, upside down, right straight up. Okay. 
when I only play the, a few cards, I do like to play the reversals, actually, because it does help me get a better grip on. And I do this absolutely intuitively, not laying it out any direction. We have the Page of Cups, first out of the shoot for Fire Signs. And he's in reverse. Fire Signs, you haven't wanted to make this transition that's going to happen. You've been holding it back. Kicking and screaming, you've been holding it back. I feel like there may have been a connection for some of you um, romantically uh, that has led to some real emotional upheaval. You're feeling very scattered, Fire. We have the world card and it's in reverse. You're still feeling scattered, unbalanced. Um, you're having a hard time dealing with this. Uh, uh, there's a heartache. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. There is a heartache that you were dealing with that even though you saw it coming, it still felt rather painful. Thank you again, Spirit. There is there's still an opportunity for you to turn things around. Fire, I know it's hard to, but you may have to let go of this connection. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That Ten is usually references like a family unit. Um, the success of a family unit. In reverse, it's telling me you're only holding on to that A connection for the financial security. I would rather be, personally speaking, I would rather be broke than I would be stuck in a situation that was unloving. But you haven't quite got there. However, fire signs, you are learning to release this other connection slowly. You have been pushing it away. You have been repairing your life. We've got the Ace of Cups. Look, you get uh, that 10 is still about closing out that cycle. You get this out of the way, and this is what's coming. Love. A little bit of contentment for a change. Some of you may even be finding a new um, a new job or a new career because you may have been working with or next to somebody that you're going to be leaving behind. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit on Light. Wow. You know what? I, I, it never ceases to amaze me when that light works. I always welcome it, thank it. Of course, you know, you hear me say I only work with beings of light, spirit guides, guardian angels, and ascended masters. All right, wrapping it up with water signs. You guys are always last, but not least. Look at that, right out of the chute. All right, spirit, can I get a couple more jumpers for water? And there it is. Ooh, you guys have been taking a real kick in the pants, though, right? Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Look at you guys. I'm glad that ace jumped out at first. <laughs> this is shit. Shit's deep, really. We've got the five of cups. Water signs, you keep reliving an old heartache. Thank you, Spirit. You keep going back there. You're afraid to get in a new connection because you keep uh, that loop keeps playing in your head about the disappointment, the heartache. You had to leave a lot of your personal feelings and emotions behind. You really had to separate from this person. We also have the... Nine of Wands. That said, 
kind of wounded warrior energy, so to speak. Water signs, this really affected you. I mean, you really... You're clinging to it, though. You don't want to let it go. Look, he's standing there outside of what seems to be threatening him. He could walk away at any minute. He could take that wand he's got and start swinging it. But he'd rather stand there and look over his shoulder. Remember what could have been... We've got the three of wands. You, you're, you're separating yourself from this old energy. Man, somebody really did a hard... A, um, a really number... Somebody really did a number on your heart. Um, yeah, it feels like it's a Mercury retrograde going on. You're finally beginning to look to the future. You're turning your back on... What didn't pan out. And that's where that Ace of, uh, Ace of Pinnacles comes in. You're getting ready to enter a new phase in your life. Take a look at that garden gate. It's all flowers. It's all happy. And it's something that was meant to happen in divine timing. There is a huge lesson here for the water signs. You guys are getting it a little bit slow. It's been a little bit brutal, but you're getting it. And you're, you're coming out of it none the worse for wear. You'll, you'll come out of this better. As a matter of fact, some of you, I and the bottom of the deck is showing, I think your finances may increase a little bit too because that was a fear for water. All right, you guys, there you have it. Air, earth, fire, and water. I hope that gives you some insight on what's coming your way. And, you know, I don't leave you guys that I don't bless you with love and light. Hope to see you soon.